buddies, welcome back to another one of our cooking videos. I'm Alex and today I'm going to make for you a Taste Buddies Hollandaise sauce. It's inspired off a Café de Paris Hollandaise or a Café de Paris butter if you like, but there's a lot less ingredients in it and a lot easier to source ingredients. So let's go and have a look at them. We have a couple of free range eggs. Obviously we're only going to use the yolks. Uh, our acids for this one are sherry vinegar and lime juice, fresh lime juice, and of course our melted butter that is going to bind it all together. Uh, we've got Jamaican curry powder, hot curry powder, some fine sea salt, black pepper, a handful of parsley, four sprigs of thyme, roughly about ten chives, one red chilli, and of course a ribeye which we're going to pour it all over afterwards. Now you might not fancy a ribeye, it goes beautifully with anything. Chicken, salmon, haven't tried octopus but I'd imagine so. Anything you want, even if you want your eggs a little bit spicier in the morning, it goes with and it's absolutely fantastic and really really easy to make. The only tricky thing is that you have to have everything ready because if your sauce goes above a certain temperature, it will split. And who just wants to eat lumps of scrambled egg in a load of hot butter? So I'm going to crack on with prepping all these, chop them, dice them, portion them out, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Cheers. Okay, now all that's ready, as you can see. So all our parsley's finely chopped. Uh, we've pulled the thyme off the sprigs, that is a bit of lime zest, we're going to use half the lime, the chives are very finely chopped, the chilies brenoised, or very finely diced if you like, and we've got half a teaspoon of the curry powder there. We're going to use a couple of drops of hot sauce and the sherry vinegar and the yolks obviously in a minute, but first of all we want to do our steak, and while the steak is resting We'll do the hollandaise because the hollandaise is the last thing we'll ever do when it's part of our recipe. You can't let it rest, you can't keep it, you can't refrigerate it, you just make it, eat it. If it's not eaten, bin it. So first for our steak, cook your steak however you want it. Obviously don't go too well done, but however pleases everybody. So just to Drizzle of olive oil, make sure the pan's really hot. Drop the steak in, lay it away from you. Look for that nice sizzling sound. Sear it and obviously for time purposes, we will see you in a minute. Yeah. Now our steak is done. So we're just gonna, just gonna leave it on the board to rest. A little bit and now now we're gonna do our hollandaise so we're gonna start off by mixing in first of all we're gonna first of all right how we're gonna cook it we're gonna cook it in a ben marie so a ben marie is pretty much a glass bowl over a pot of boiling water so we're just getting it up to the boil and in the meantime we're gonna start with our base, which is the eggs. So we need a balloon whisk, and we need to add our acids. So we're gonna squeeze in first some lime. We need about half a tablespoon, half to three quarters of a tablespoon of sherry vinegar. Whisk that together, and now, now we've got a boil, on we go. And now is the part where we have to be really careful. Constantly mix, incorporate as much air into it as possible, get a nice fluffy sauce, and if you want to be precise with it, the you should not exceed 65, 66 degrees. Um, Celsius 
So that's where your that's where your eggs will start cooking and your sauce will split. Uh, if you don't want to use a thermometer, what I usually go with is the outside of my finger. If it's unpleasantly hot, take it off. So constantly whisking the eggs. So there's plenty of air into them. Now before they get too hot, we want to add the butter. And keep whisking while you add your butter. Keep whisking so it doesn't split. And slowly, slowly that will turn into a beautiful, glossy, nice, thick sauce. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. See some pinch of salt. A little bit of pepper. Check the temperature, not too hot. Happy days. And now we're going to go in with all the rest of our ingredients. So, the chilies, thyme, parsley, lime zest, chives, curry powder. There we go. All in there. And continue whisking. And this is looking pretty much. Twist it again. There we go. Well, the temperature's good. Not too hot. And that's it. Off the heat, because obviously steam is well above 65 degrees. And it will continue to cook them. And now we are going to just put a couple of little final touches to it. So we want a couple of drops of chili sauce. Ooh, might have been a couple. I might have been a drop too many. I'm going to whisk that in, taste it. If you want it a little bit saltier, a little bit spicier, all up to you. No, I think we're bang on. Right, time for serving up. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice the steak and this is going to be served. We're going to serve that with some nice cherry tomato and basil salad. We've had them marinade in there for an hour or so. And just some balsamic vinegar, some fresh basil out of the pot and some olive oil. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And all we're going to do now Beautiful steak. You're gonna get some hollandaise, uh, hollandaise in a bowl, so we can dip our steak into it. And um, because I've already had the okay from the camera lady that the hollandaise is good, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit just on top of across the steak as well. Beautiful. Look at that. There we are, our taste buddies. Our taste buddies, hollandaise sauce, in this case with a ribeye. Mm. It's absolutely fantastic. Till next time, keep on cooking. Cheers.